guys, I'm going to try a new video. It's my first press hand seam. So, all you're going to do is get in a shadow roll. If you don't know what that is, basically, you just have your legs split like that. But not all the way down. So, then I'm going to put my hands and press up into a hand seam. So, I hope you subscribe to my video, leave some comments, and yeah, let's get started. Mm. I have this pillow so I won't put it in my face. <laughs> Than it <sighs> this is really harder than it looks. <sighs> ah, I keep going in this battle roll. Try. Mm. Okay. Do a little stretch. Quick, so you can. until I at least get it but if this is gonna take a little while I'm gonna at least stop and then just do regular hand scan so yeah let's kinda do a little more oh god <laughs> have you ever done tumbling? no have you, have you done a press stand? no okay basically let me show my mom what a press stand is so you, this is a straddle roll. Okay, so you lean back and then you get your pressure and you push up. Oh, I get it. <laughs> yeah, that's harder than it looks. Can oh, you get I'm my sure ankles? Of that. Uh, can you get my ankles off the ground? Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I just kicked that so I'm skating over. Didn't hurt but Uh, I think it's time to stop and I'm just going to do a little hand stand and then, oh right, I haven't shown you guys my front walkover. I've been practicing on it. So, all I need is to put one foot when I do the stand up, okay? So I'm going to do a hand stand and show you my front walkover. Okay. 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 You kind of see me. Okay, try that more. Prettier. <laughs> okay, last time. Oh God! <laughs> I fell over. I fell over my hand. Okay, I'm gonna show you my front walkover. And yeah, stand up. You can kind of see me. It's got a little light on it. This is even lighter. Okay, shining. Ooh, it's kind of bright. If that helps, you can probably see better. Okay, I'm going. Okay. 
Okay, let's try that one more time. There you guys go, I did it. So, this wasn't quite as long as other videos, so I'm just gonna show you all this stuff right now. This is called a back walkover. Let's give it over. Basically, a back kickover, back off using heavy foot, and then you go in back then. Okay, yeah, and um, I'm close to my back handsprings. I'm off the wedge. If you don't know what a wedge is, it's basically like a hill, and then do a back handspring. So I'm off of that now on the floor. Super scary, and, and <laughs> I'm like messing with my hair so much. Um, yeah, and I, I'm working on my aerials, which is pain, really pain. Cause when she gets it like in a cage, her like it hit, hurts her belly, and so. Yeah, let us. What do you else? Let me plug in something. There we go. Um, uh, I think uh, I do a lot of stuff, but basically easy. You see me do cartwheel, back bang, kick up. Um, walk over is probably the hardest I ever gone by myself. Was it the hardest I have gone by myself, Mom? I'll do a handstand back the back thing and then just kick back over. And it's probably like a level, probably a front walk over and then that would be it. So, yeah, and I'm, I guess I'm on the level one and the level two. So, next year I'm going to be on the level three, right? Level three. You know what a level, you know what levels of it means? Like, when you first start, you go level one, two, and then when you at least hit three or four, you go to competitions. So, I'm going to be in level three. That's what our teacher said, Miss Brittany. So, we're in a level one and two. Yeah, basically, I'm not working on my back tucks. And there's this little girl named Addison. She is really amazing. I'm in third grade. She's in first and she does back, um, round off back handspring, one of them by herself, two of them by herself, and she's starting on her back tucks, and the first time she's like falling over, second time she falls over, and then she got it. And yeah, so she knows how to do a back tuck. But she won't do it on the ground, she'll do it on a wedge mat. She would try to do it on the ground one time, and she kind of just did it, she kind of went, if you don't know what a back tuck is, it's where you go down and then grab her knees and then flip and then she went. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, she's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, might as well getting bored talking to you, so I might as well just do something. Um, what else should I do? Uh, I guess I could start on my press handstands, so fall on my face and grab me my pillow. See? Zebra print pillow that like shows the whole thing. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm going to put that there. And let's get started. Maybe on when I go on t Tuesday, um, I could t 
tell it if we could do a press handstand. Like, I think she would probably like think it will be those handstands where you do this. Okay, not really good. You jump. Okay, you jump. So I tell her if you could do a back um, press handstand, but on Friday we don't have time. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Thursdays, and and then on Friday is our Christmas program, and then we have two weeks off, and then I have to tell her for the long time. So might as well working on my back press, and um, why it's when I'm two weeks off because then I would have to tell her, or I could just do it. So. I think that's a wrap, and I really hope you describe. Leave a thumbs up, and let's hope we get 20, 20,000 um, <laughs> thumbs up, or you could describe. Description is what was your hardest gymnastics you have ever done? Leave that below, and bye.